Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again here in Computer Tycoon Series 5. And we're looking at our office, which of course is the great new feature. Well, one of the great new features of this uh, latest version of the game. We now have managers. That's, that's me. I, I'm the sort of hairy, beardy guy, I think, in the blue. And these other three guys are my, um, my managers. Oh... I was hoping, I'd, I'd just gone off in search of an, another manager. I'm not terribly impressed with the latest manager I employed, as you may recall from the previous episode. So his skills are, are okay at marketing, charisma's good, but I'd like him to have a more useful skill in terms of the operation and the running of the business, like, like a manufacturing skill or accounting would be good. We've got research and logistics covered, with our other two uh, managers, Gabriel and Carlos. Um, espionage, I'm not sure I want to use that just yet because I, suspicion, I have a suspicion that I'm ahead of the market. I have got over 68% of the marketplace in terms of sales. Let me look at this. I'm 50% ahead of my nearest rival, Brutal Data. And when you compare their machines with mine, here they are. They've, they've just released one, in fact, uh, just oh, four months ago now the back end of 1975 and they're selling it for cheap but if you look at what it looks like I mean this this is mine I've got graphics cards I've got removable media I've got really quality VLSI dip memory heat synced all that my motherboard is wow s100 bus sound chip and brutal data on their computer they've got a din connector on their motherboard Yep, no graphics card, no removable media. They're going for the cheap and cheerful option, which obviously is, is keeping them in business, but I, I'm not going down that route. I want quality. Now, as we saw at the end of the last episode, uh, my research is going on a pace. We're about to collect the SCSI. Yep, we're about to collect the SCSI research. That'll be done within a day. I've got 2.6 research points uh, per day. We'll wait for the 8-inch floppy disk to arrive. Then I'll add that to my next computer. Uh, I think what I might also do is, while I'm here, just add these, just, just in case my research gets carried away with me. Uh, someone did comment on the last video, and I do apologise, I've forgotten your name already, <laughs> uh, asking, are we going to get the mouse? Are we going to get the mouse? Well, he wasn't quite that that enthusiastic, but yes, he did ask. Uh, so yes, it looks like the mouse is definitely on the card, so we should be able to do that. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look at the world map, shall we, and see quite how green it is. Green being my colour, yep. You We're... have researched a new technology. Thank you, we've got SCSI. Uh, ooh. One or more idle ma Oh, yes, I didn't give my myself another task. Uh, we can... What are my skills? They're, they're not great. Charisma's okay. I can't... I don't really need... No, they're not great. So I think I'll do that hiring thing again, actually. So this is a active task, I think. Yep, find another manager. Um, that's the cheapest thing to do. Yeah, we can do that. I have actually played on from this point in the game after the last recording. And if I do find another manager, I do get the option of picking one of these guys to fire. And to be honest, I know who it's going to be, but let's wait till we get there. Waiting for the floppy drive to turn up. And uh, once that's done, we'll go through and create some awesome new components. Actually, no. No, we don't want to wait for that. What I want to do is get and sell more computers. As you see here at the top, I've currently got demand points of 2 million. I've got 5.5 million production points. So my warehouses, my SP, I've got a lot of points in storage. I, I've got capacity to spare now. So I was thinking we could go somewhere quite big and try and sell computers. And yeah, this is the list I came up with. I've been avoiding really poor countries because the profit margin on those is quite small. But if you're selling several thousand a day at a margin, a profit anyway, then who's going to argue? So I'm thinking we could go somewhere like this. Uh, Indonesia might be good, actually. I was thinking Pakistan, but it looks like Indonesia is where Brutal are operating, isn't it? So we get, Yeah, uh, that's Indonesia. That's Brutal. Yeah, I think we should go there. We've got a spare logistics point. 
So we will put one in there. That's it. Run the game on. And the other thing I was thinking of is we're making... Well, we're losing money now. <laughs> well, we're not losing. We're making less money than we did before. Is I have got... I did build, if you may remember, in the very early days of this series, I did accidentally click on building a research lab in my poor country. Which was a mistake, but I suppose I could use that now to bump up my research. It doesn't cost me much less than 300,000 a day. But what I think I want to do is we need more logistics. Is if I build a level 3 office in Kuwait, I can then build a level 3 logistics building, yeah, in, uh, in Kuwait as well. Give me a good deal more points. Oh, we've got Indonesia. Excellent. So, publish it. Oh, we've got... Oh, this is our marketing man. He was going searching for a video game. Now, I've not done this before, so let's see if I can understand what the game is telling me about this publishing deal. So, I found developers working on a new title called Space Cruiser. How much freedom and money would you like to add there? Um, okay. To offer them, perhaps. So I presume we're going to be giving them money to develop the game and it will be our exclusive publishing deal, I think. Uh, does the help tell me? Uh, gaming industry is hit base, so most of the gamings aren't great, but when you have a real gem, it's really helpful. Nice to know. So you can either play it safe and not give them much freedom to the developers, or you can risk it, give them a lot. Though it's a bigger, su bigger project size, always increases the potential risk. I'd rather be spelt though in full. Yeah, that, that's a vulgar abbreviation, I'm sorry. Increases the potential results. Playing with the freedom of the developers is a gamble worth trying. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on, on board with that. And a good manager will decrease the cost by a lot, but will not make your game successful. So he's reasonably good marketing, as you can see here. So he's reducing these costs, I think. We don't have any clue as to how much he's reducing the cost, but that's fair enough. So if we give them medium, freedom and we'll give it an AA budget that's quite a lot so potential feature points 7.5 is that to point to 9.0 no 7.5 to 90 I reckon wow that's a lot or well, 15 to 180 we're not going to spend 3 million we have got money to spare to be honest but actually we could do that couldn't we I could do that. But I'm an upstart at the moment in, in the video game publishing business, so I'll play it reasonably safe. So we'll give them that. It's going to take 360 days. Does a yeah, smaller title doesn't take as long to develop. And the lower risk doesn't make any difference either. So we'll give them Yeah, we're not we're not developers, so we'll give them a high freedom, give them a good budget, and we will start working on that title. Awesome. Uh, that will eventually come out of the wash when it comes out. Yeah, good. I could go to another country as well, actually. I'd only get a, ma a small... You have researched a new technology. Thank you. I'd get a small negative on the LP there if I did that, so the cost uh, wouldn't be enormous. But I'm okay for the moment, I think. Okay, time to go into hardware development. So we have got a number of technologies we've researched since our last uh, product was released. Uh, that's that. So we have got... Uh, I don't need to scroll this up because I've written it down so I wouldn't forget. Uh, so we have got 10 micron, SCSI, 8 inch floppy, and we're about to research ATA as well. But that will take a, a, a few days, well, a few weeks to come through. So let's have a look at our motherboards here. Uh, so that's our latest one. So if we click on that, uh, this, yep, yeah, we'll do this. We'll copy this. And this will be our motherboard for... Yes, yeah, so this will be our motherboard for 1976. We'll put in 10 micron, which should reduce the cost dramatically. Lovely. And we can put in SCSI, which, wow, takes them right back up again. Yikes. Uh, I've got good quality. Can I scrimp on that a little bit? Actually, I could take out the S100 bus. But that gives it a lot more features. And uh, and this quality points as well. We'll leave... Well, yeah, we'll give it both SCSI and S100 on the motherboard. But I will reduce the quality a little bit. Actually, I can type in a number there now, can't I? 3.0. 
it's a little bit less. We'll, we'll go with that. That's fine. And while I'm here, we can archive that old one. Excellent. And we can use the 10 micron on the CPU. Right, so I will go through and create new variants of all these hardware items and come back to you when we're ready to create our awesome world-beating new computer. Well, I now have a host of new hardware components uh, for 1976. Uh, motherboard, CPU, new memory, new input device, floppy disk as opposed to tape drive. Uh, we've also got a new uh, Winchester disk drive uh, which uses SCSI. Uh, the, one, of the, one thing I've done here as well is because, uh, I think, for example, the CPU does this as well, yeah. Because the 10 micron uh, manufacturing process does give me a fair saving in the manufacturing costs, I've used that to multiply or add multipliers to various bits of my hardware, like the memory, like the CPU. Your building uh, so, upgrade has completed. Thank you. So I've not actually saved a great deal because of the 10 micron, but I have increased the quality and the performance of my components, which I think is good. But I do perhaps need to remember, if we go to my latest computer, and we go to marketing here, one thing I learnt on in the, from the marketing results for this latest computer of mine is that performance isn't quite so important to my customers. <laughs> yeah, so should I be taking account of that? I'm not sure. But I just want to be ahead of my competitors in as many areas of computer design as I can be. Uh, so in fact, if we look at the stats as well here, and we look at preference. Interestingly, uh, capacity actually, the purple line, is going down whereas performance is going up interesting that's interesting so global market it doesn't show this ah this is the global market line graph but uh, that's a global market pie chart of preferences and this is my customers preferences um mm, yeah it might be nice to have a have a graph showing the difference in your own markets preferences I mean, it won't be strictly sort of accurate, I suppose, because your market changes. Like, I've just gone into Pakistan. So I didn't go to Pakistan. I went to Indonesia. So when you add or take countries away from your market, uh, then preferences will, preferences will change there anyway, naturally. Yeah, I don't know. Designing a good game, <laughs> a good strategic tycoon game, uh, is a bit of a challenge. So, again, kudos to Andras Pregorian, the developer of this game, for, for attempting it. And doing a rather good job of it, if I may say so. Anyway, let's get on with the game in hand. And let's create a new version of my old Pro Deck for 1976. So, there we are. We'll take that. And this will be called the 76 One. We haven't got any new accessories as yet. Our memory has improved. We'll add that in. The CPU is new. We've got diskettes. Yo! as removable media. The graph, the video card has also improved, uh, basically due to the 10 micron manufacturing. Our storage, I've not improved the capacity, but as you can see, the performance is much better. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's it, which people may or may not want. I don't know. Motherboard, uh, ease of use, has uh, feature set rather has improved, prestige, but the, the cost has gone up because I've added the extra performance to it, I think. Or whatever it was. Oh, I added the extra interface, wasn't it? I added SCSI as well as the uh, as the S100. Okay, so that's that done. Again, I'll keep on marketing them at the 8,000 for the time being. Marketing uh, will move performance down to somewhat important. I'll always start with a medium manufacturer uh, marketing campaign. I think everything else is fine there. We'll continue to market to casuals. They're by far and away our largest audience. Uh, so let's test this baby. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Thank you. In the meantime, we have learned that our office building in Kuwait has been upgraded, so I can upgrade logistics as well. That is good. Research is doing nicely. We're not making as much money as we used to, but we are still very much in the green. And once we've got that extra logistics points from our new logistics office in Kuwait, or our, our improved and enhanced office in Kuwait, 
we can start moving into more countries and claw back some of those I've lost about a percentage more or less in market sales I could increase marketing on my computer if I wanted to but you know I'm not really going to so where's the dominancy chart yeah he's up to 17 percent now you see oh he's creeping up but now oh because Mysterioso Carlos the upgrade has completed excellent and he is my logistics maestro I think isn't he as well yes he is so I can give him more skills so his loyalty is fine I think if we give him more logistics points that would be awesome yeah so I give him one there and say done to that and move on move on okay good that's done whatever it's done but anyway we've now got 4.6 extra logistics points to play with so i can move into new countries around the world oh we're not making so much money now what's happened has someone else released a new computer have i been losing sales let's have a look at that oh it has dropped off a lot uh, okay let's increase the marketing let's go huge yeah we can't change anything else apart from the size of the campaign will that work for me no no I'm losing even more money than before wow this this is bad news isn't it oh of course part of that is I you have researched a new technology thank you because I've got more logistics offices, I've got larger warehouse capacity, so my factories burst back into life to fill that up. I keep forgetting that's what's going on here. Now, they've filled up, so that should stop. The factories should now close down. And, yeah, my losses are being contained, and I'm back in profit again. <sighs> this game makes me panic. When I see numbers in red like that, it's terrifying. Anyway... Oh, John Small and... Oh, Belinda Klugman has... They. Ooh, okay, so that's Belinda there. Look at that. You're still on blinking lights. Pardon the expression. Uh, what's your computer look like? Oh, they've got an accessory. They've got a printer. That's nice. Uh, cancel that. Uh, the memory. Oh, they've got VLSI, which is quite good. CPU. Uh, again, no, no video card or anything. S100, but no SCSI. Oh, it's sad, really. Uh, so who was the other guy? Massive modules. I think that's you, isn't it? Yeah, that's you. In fact, let's get... Uh, that's fine. Uh, bring you back online. Okay. Again, you're not really competing with me in any area, are you? Still blinking lights as well. I'm so far ahead of these guys. It's, it's silly, really. <laughs> but there you go. Let's find some lovely new countries to sell into. Uh, have we got any... Italy is rich. Their tax rate is quite high. But they are a nice big country. And their tax rate is less than the UK. They're not too hot in performance, but they like quality. That's prestige, isn't it? Features. Ease of use, rather. Uh, and, yeah, I think Italy would be a good place to go. Again, it's a brutal data country. So we can go in there take a point and we're done uh, do we want to go somewhere else France mm, Iran South Africa Iran's only poor interesting uh, we could oh go on then let's try Nigeria I'm, I'm tar I seem to be targeting brutals <laughs> markets but you know, someone's got to challenge them haven't they yeah uh, so we'll set that up uh, but is my computer ready for release your new computer model is polished. Thank you, it is. Okay, so we will market that. We will go into customers and we'll see how many people buy it straight off the shelves first day of release. Only 7,000. Oh, and look at that, my demand was nearly 5 million. <laughs> so that is awesome. And I'm losing money because my old computer is not selling yet. So we're going to have to archive that one. That's cool. That's, that's just wasting marketing money. So why are we still losing money? We shouldn't be doing that. At all. No, we're not. We're not. It's coming back. We're back in profit. Awesome. And we're back up to 68.8. 69% of the global market. Come on, give it to me. 
Are you? I. <laughs> it's creeping up. It is creeping up. We still have a couple of logistics points to spend. So where could we send them, do you think? Ooh, and Datal Systems have released a new computer as well, actually. I've just noticed the message down there. Uh, so let's go here, and you are... Oh, you're, there's Dator. Again, they're still blinking lights. Wow, they, they just don't... They, they can't do it, really, can they? But how's my machine doing? Okay. I'm only reaching 69% of my potential audience. Perhaps I do need to play a bit more with the marketing scheme here. But that's okay, I think. Uh, how's research doing? Do we have anything new? BIOS with jumpers, we can add that to our list. We've learned something new about marketing on our latest machine. And that is... Oh, capacity isn't so important these days. Okay, interesting. We've got 69% of the market. Brutal is doing quite well. Again, it's just the other companies just are struggling to keep up. But you know what I think I might do is oh, that profit is, is too small. Is if I increase my marketing for my latest computer, let's go big. Does that help? Does that help at all? The number is still green, but it could do with being bigger. It's getting bigger. That's fine. Oh, that's better. Yep, that's better. That is excellent. And we still have two logistics points to spend. So where can we spend those? Uh, I, Iran is a poor country, so there's less of a discount there. They like performance, which I, actually I'm really good at performance as well, as well as everything else, to be honest. OK, let, let's go to Iran. Uh, let's put a point in there. And I'm, I'm slightly concerned you if... You have researched a new technology. Slightly concerned if Iran might close their market to us at some point. Okay, yeah, we're doing really well. We've got the microphone. That's another accessory we can add. Do we want to go to another market? Uh, we might as well. France. Your tax rate is quite high. Uh, the thing, I'm so tempted to go to Pakistan because it's such a big country. But I've always, uh, ever since the last series, when, when marketing costs really came into play, I've always been nervous about going into really big countries because the marketing costs do rocket when you do that. Colombia's not bad, actually. And they're really keen on it. Okay, let's let's go to Colombia, shall we? Let's let's put a point in there. Oh yeah, and the extra point from my logistics man has given me a 0.7 bonus. Oh, he's not good at finding new managers, is he? This Professor Slade, that's me, that is. Oh, this this is. You should be better at this. <laughs> you really should. Okay, well we're still publishing our video game here, aren't we? So that's going to take uh, another quite a few months <laughs> to do. So we don't want to replace him just yet. However, inadequate he is in other real skills. So let's try something else, shall we? An educational program for universities. Gives me 10 new fans in every country where you sell. Plus a percent bonus of your current fan base, depending on your... And fans really love our computers, so that should help sell more. Let's take the cheap option for the moment. We, I know we can afford a bigger one, but it takes longer to achieve. A television in... That's 100 million. We could afford that quite easily. I've got 600 in the bank. I'm thinking... Let's, let's do these in turn. Let's do, let's do the quick hits first, I think. So 180 days. That's six months, isn't it? Educational programme for universities. We'll do that, which give us new fans. And fans love buying our computers. In fact, the statistics uh, tell us that. Customers. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, fans. fan numbers are going up. Which is good. Or the, or the number bought by fans is going up. That, that's good. Okay, that's, that's fine. We're making half a million a day, which is all right. Our percentage of the market is fine. Can I actually increase my logistics offices? 
Uh, we could do that in Ireland as well. And that would reduce our research costs as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build an office in Ireland. So we can go up to level 3 logistics in that country as well. I'm liking this. We've got Colombia. I don't think we're in any country. I don't think we're being beaten in any country that we're marketing into. Which is rather impressive. We are doing Your very well. upgrade has completed. Okay. Oh, Logan Taylor has just leveled up. And we've got our office upgrade in Ireland. So we can upgrade that logistics office. And that will give us quite a few more LP to play with. Awesome. And Logan, uh, are you my marketing man? Yes, indeed you are. So, mm. now the thing is, I'm not planning to keep him on board for too long. So I'm not sure if I need to increase his loyalty much. <laughs> if you keep them on for a really long time, if you keep them on for decades, then their salary increases will really mount up over the years. Uh, so I think if we increase his marketing skill, That'll, that'll be handy. That, that's what he's doing. So let, let's, uh, yeah, let's focus on that. We're getting CLI now. Now, what have we got in the research Your queue? Upgrade has completed. Oh, logistics. We've now got ooh, another four logistics points to spend. But let's have a quick look at research while we're here. Oh, we're losing money again. Oh, again, because <laughs> I do. <laughs> you see what I mean? I see that bubble pop up. And then I see the red number and I start panicking. But no, it's okay. It's just the, the warehouse is filling up with spare capacity. We'll use it up. Don't worry. Oh, EEPROM and... Ooh, six, na six micron. Yeah, we'll add that in. And we will... Ooh, we can then do the 8080 once we've got that. And the sprite is... Uh, improves on the performance of our video cards, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll take the 8080 though. That that will be good. That's real computers, probably. We've got logistics points to spend. Where can we put them? Madagascar. No, Belgium is rich. Not terribly large. Again, I'm going for large countries. Perhaps I shouldn't, but I am. Nepal. Sri Lanka. Oh, that's really cheap. Yeah, let's go there. Again, another brutal site. Awesome. So that's... Yeah, we're capturing that one. We're back into profit. Splendid. We're doing... Ooh, other people releasing new computers. And we're about to turn over into 1977. Splendid. Right, uh, so who's released a new computer? Will Bright, that's you. And also, oh, Brutal have got a new one out. Excellent. Well, not excellent because they're selling them. But, you know. And massive modules. Oh, these guys are doing the, yeah. They're getting stuff out now. They're obviously doing research and stuff. So, massive. What have you got? I'm not sure. We've got another accessory. Yeah, I'm not seeing any great improvement. You've got S100. Yeah, you're not really keeping up with technology, but what about Brutal? Uh, they've got screens. Still no accessories. And what are they doing uh, elsewhere? I'm not sure what they're doing here to warrant a new computer. S100, yeah. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. We're doing all right. But what I could do, I suppose, could I reduce my price? No, I'm not going to. I'm selling enough to make money, so I don't need to reduce my uh, my prices. My main managers, Gabriel and myself, have levelled up. So we'll do look at those in a moment. But we'll finish off with this episode by looking at our stats. Eighty-four. Good grief. 84% of the market. Yeah, doing well. Okay, so last year, oh dear, we only made 83 million in profit compared to the 347 the year before. Okay, we have done a fair amount of expansion though in terms of our infrastructure and our marketing costs are substantially more. They're more than double what they were last year. 
Okay, that, that's that's understandable. <laughs> uh, but we are doing well. We are selling our set. Oh, our sales have rocketed as well. That's impressive. Sales. Yep. Keep on going on up. Yep. Brutal are also increasing their sales, but nobody else is. Everyone else is suffering at our hands. But if my previous series is anything to go by, they do make comebacks. Every now and then, one of them will latch upon a new technology or something and come back into the fray and take us all by surprise. But, I mean, this, this level of dominance, I'm not sure that's going to make any real difference. We shall see in the coming episodes. Preferences... Performance is gone, is back up. Yeah, everything's leveling off again. That's all right. My customers. Uh, India. Yeah, getting loads. Fine. I'm selling mostly to rich, which is excellent. And poor, which is less good. And poverty. Okay. But yeah, having, having a, a predominance of rich customers is good for our bank balance. And my dominancy, as we've seen, is pretty darned awesome. So we have leveled up our managers, and that's what we'll finish off with this episode. Um, more charisma, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, because that's what I'm working on. It's either hiring people or going out and meeting the fans and encouraging them to be, to be loyal. And our research man here. Uh, so I think if we put a plus there in the loyalty... So I'm okay with the research at the moment, actually. So we're, we're okay with that, but that will that will limit his pay increases in future years. So there we are, I think. That is a very nice place to wrap up this particular episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, it'll be great to hear from you. And I've just lost some percentages. What's going on here? <laughs> Sorry, I was wrapping up. That Kumar chap is coming back into the... Mm. Yeah, you can't tell if he's reducing his prices without making a note. Actually, what I could do... I could improve my marketing. I could go huge. Should we try that? Let's try that. And see if that makes a difference to the number of customers. It does a little bit. It does a little bit. I think, yet yeah, when well, I am selling quite a few computers... That's fine. Yes, so we're here. We will. We haven't got the mouse in this episode. Sorry about that. We will definitely get it in the next episode. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on that old thumbs up button. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts or any advice about the way I'm playing or the game itself, then please do drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, you can always subscribe. And that way you'll know, if you've not done so already, and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>